Well, um, it's a great pleasure to welcome uh, John Kerry here this morning. Uh, we're going to take the opportunity this morning to talk about uh, the challenge we face in uh, Ukraine from Russia's continued aggression, the unacceptable way in which the uh, ceasefire agreement that was signed just 10 days ago has been so systematically breached. Uh, we're going to talk about how we maintain European Union unity and US-European alignment uh, in response to those breaches of that agreement. You good? Yep. We'll also be talking about the challenges that we face from Islamist extremism, and particularly now the challenges that we're seeing in Libya, where the extremists are getting a foothold and the UN Special Representative Initiative is making some progress, but we urgently need to see a government of national unity emerging in Libya so that the international community can put its weight behind that government in order to squeeze the terrorists out of the ungoverned space that's currently available to them in Libya. The terrorists out of the ungoverned space that's currently available to them in Russia has engaged in an absolutely brazen and cynical process over these last days. Uh, there is no secret to any of us, not in this age of uh, all kinds of visibility and technical means and satellites and uh, the ability to watch what people are doing. We know to a certainty uh, what Russia has been providing to the separatists, how Russia is involved with the separatists, and the ways in which Russia has cynically been willing to go to uh, even lead an effort at the UN uh, even simultaneously as it is continuing to do land grabbing in Ukraine. But its nuclear program is going to be peaceful into the future. So we are talking about additional sanctions, additional efforts. I'm confident that over the course of the next days, people are determined to make it clear uh, we're not going to play this game. We're not going to sit there and be part of this kind of uh, extraordinarily craven uh, behavior at the expense of the sovereignty and integrity of a nation. With respect to uh, ISIS, Daesh, there is a unanimity now that is even more determined than it was previously to put the people in the places that they need to be to get the job done to commit the resources uh, and to continue to put the pressure on Daesh uh, in Iraq and into Syria and wherever uh, they may be. Why is it good to, to uh, stop British 